Today is July 3rd, 2011. Uh, on Monday, Tuesday, uh, July 5th of 2011, my wife and I will be uh, releasing a complaint to the U.S. Department of Justice dealing with uh, some of the things that I've gone through over the last year that she's gone through and at times we've been kept separated in the process of uh, the legal realms of resolving those type of uh, issues. Uh, whether it's through bankruptcy, where we had a home, and uh, I went to jail on February 10th, 2006, and I was locked up until April the 3rd of uh, 2000, well, 2006, I was uh, released, April 3rd, 2006, I was released, and uh, I got a bond, and uh, my brother-in-law supposed to sign the bond, I can't get that documentation from the bondsman, Mr. Tony Milner. I've approached him several times and asked him, as a bondsman, could I receive that paperwork? And I told him I had the law from the Virginia uh, code that tells him that I had a right to that. I've also contacted different state agencies uh, about the behavior of not only Mr. Miller, but the courts and some of the agencies. Uh, when you report a complaint, they're supposed to investigate it, and the complaint's supposed to be in written form, and it's supposed to be returned with a written answer and explaining the uh, requirements of uh, the actions. In other words, if they uh, obligate you to pay financially to something or uh, be arrested and locked up and sentenced to time, that uh, due process requires that there's a process that shows that a man's been treated fairly according to the law. And uh, that's been uh, interfered with uh, through people who represent the court. That's called color of abuse under law. That means that you use your uniform or your standing as a state representative or as someone who represents that person through a point who's court and they must have knowledge and each member that's an adult that has the understanding to uh, uh, take in the process must be notified and if they're not they must have a, a guardian a guardian enlightened appointed to them and to the family members as far as the kids and those who uh, may can't protect their own interests, but each party must have knowledge, uh, husband and wife, unless they're separated. That's what the law says. That's not me debating the law. I got that law. Got the law to say I'm supposed to get my records. And uh, at times my wife and I, because what we went through, uh, she took the word of those officials. And at times when I approached her with the paperwork even indicated that these things weren't done legally, it was a resistance by her to approach these people because they, she's seen the behavior they've shown to me. It's not the fact that she doesn't support me, it's the fact that, hey, you're on cable 18 telling everybody you can't get them, they're destroying our lives, so what are we both with doing it? That's what she said. So, as of the day, I've written a letter, my wife and I both were signing, and this letter goes like this. I, Michael Elder and Carl Elder, 923 Children's Drive, Mars, Virginia, are writing to request a cover of all our civil criminal and medical records from the federal and state courts and all evidence from discovery used in the cases past, present, and future on both individuals and family members. We are concerned about the constitutionality of U.S. government and Commonwealth of Virginia past and present cases against us. We are concerned that the laws in the Constitution of the United States of America and the Commonwealth of Virginia may have been violated. The Constitution both federal and state of Virginia states that we have civil rights which are protected, yet we have been denied uh, basic, the, the right to exercise basic civil rights, such as being made aware of complaints, being made to face our accusers, have fair representation, and at times be aware of all proceedings and issues which a uh, appointed Someone appointed by the court or either appointed by you should enter a court, you should be have knowledge. They can't go into court and sign your signature, your wife's signature, and then sit up here and tell you you can't get them because they give you a crazy check. So the point I'm making is this, that when I talk to people and they say, Mr. Elder, you may not understand the law. I want them people to understand I brought the law, I understand it, which you read the law since you depended on it because it doesn't say what you say. 